Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Action Figure Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Build a Weapon Grapnel Gun. Now we have previously looked at all eight figures in the Batman v Superman 6 inch multiverse line that you need to acquire in order to build the grapnel gun. If you'd like to take a look at any of those figures, I will throw links down in the description. It's been a very long time coming. The Batman v Superman toy line first started hitting, I noticed, on New Year's Day. And here we are five months later, finally finishing the grapnel gun. That's a very long time uh, for all of these figures to have been released in order for us to build something. But here it is. Uh, also, if you get the two Toys R Us exclusive figures, which we also have reviewed, there's the Batman Unmasked as well as the Heat Vision Superman. You can get these two additional accessories for the grapnel gun and we will look at those two in just a little bit here but this is the main attraction uh, basically it consists of eight different parts and aesthetically it looks pretty good it's got a very nice look to it it, it looks metallic even though it's very lightweight plastic um, it's got just enough detail to it. it's really not too bad a lot of people initially were kind of up in the air about you know, why are they doing a build a weapon instead of a build a figure such as Doomsday? I guess this is cool. It's a little bit different. I do think it's a little bit excessive though, how you need to purchase eight figures in order to build this. Because considering that each figure is $20, when you multiply that by eight before taxes, you're spending 160 bucks in order to build this. Is it worth that just to get the grapnel gun? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> but uh, as it is, you know, we want to show it to you anyway. So you can get a look at what you're getting yourself into if you decide to pursue this. Uh, of course, you can jump onto eBay and buy this gun all by itself. There are people who have done the work for you. Um, I'm not even so sure that I'm going to be keeping this, but uh, I think it's okay. Again, the strongest thing that it has going for it is the aesthetics. It is a very lightweight plastic and it is permanently attached to this display base, unfortunately. And the reason that I think they did that is so that kids or maybe whoever's building this thing cannot try and pass it off as a real gun. Because even though it doesn't really look like a real pistol, it still looks like a gun. It's still got the metallic detail. It's still got the wooden looking handle right there. So I assume that if it didn't have the base, uh, you might be able to pass that off as a gun to somebody who doesn't really know anything about guns. And uh, rather than getting sued, I imagine that's why Mattel did this. Uh, I have seen that some people have remove this part by dremeling it off. You can do that if you want, and it, it'd probably be kind of cool if you did, but uh, in doing that, you might ruin this base, so you wouldn't be able to display it like this anymore. Um, basically, it's just a display piece. It's meant for you to just sit it down somewhere and admire it like that. In that regard, it, it's pretty cool. Again, I'm not so sure that I wouldn't have rather have gotten a figure, but seeing how this entire Batman v Superman toy line uh, for the multiverse segment has been a huge disaster. I just don't think that a Doomsday figure or a Deluxe figure would have been all that much better. Mattel has shown a complete disregard for authenticity with this toy line. This may be the closest thing to what we saw in the film, but their real responsibility here should be to the figures. I could understand if they were just doing a six inch toy line for kids, and they are, they're doing that at the $10 price point but they're doing these six inch multiverse figures at a $20 price point and they're labeling them as adult collector. And uh, the, the quality on them, if you've seen any of my videos, is just very, very poor. Likenesses are atrocious. They're reusing bodies from figures that are almost 10 years old, such as with Lex Luthor, and just slapping on a new awful looking head. And yeah, it, the whole line is just a mess. Not sure if the four horsemen aren't working on this one as they did in the past or what's going on, but it's just a huge, huge, huge mess. And it makes me very fearful for what Mattel's going to do in the future with lines like Suicide Squad and anything else related to the DC film universe. So like I said, this gun is basically a display piece, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have any features. It actually does. Uh, if you grab it up here and look it up close, you'll notice that there are these two pieces right here. And these actually do come out. And uh, basically what you get here is a, uh, it's, it's kind of a little projectile that goes to the grapnel gun. They are articulated. And uh, basically what you can do is you can just take that if you wanted to, and then you'll see the little uh, hole right there at the bottom of the barrel. 
just kind of plug it in like that as if it's just about to launch out or something. And then you just fold it back up and you insert it back in. Uh, other piece here is exactly the same thing. So that's pretty cool. It is nice how you can stow them like that. Now I did show you the pieces that came with the Toys R Us exclusive figures. Uh, first of all, you get this one right here, which comes with the unmasked Batman figure. And uh, it's the same sort of thing. It's a projectile. It's not articulated, even though they sculpted it with the hinges there. <laughs> um, but it's got the black line. And basically what you're going to do with that is just plug the black line into the barrel. And then it just kind of looks like it's launching uh, the line so that Batman can swing around and, you know, do his thing. Um, I guess that's kind of cool. I mean, I kind of feel like this is better than the ones you have to just plug in here on the side just because it has a better aesthetic to it. Uh, and then we also have the clear one that comes with the Heat Vision Superman. And uh, basically, this is the same thing, non-articulated uh, projectile there. And then this is just supposed to look, I guess, like air. Don't know really why they gave it a supersonic boom, but uh, it's just supposed to be clear plastic. That way you can plug it into the barrel. And then uh, it just looks like it's launching a projectile without the line like we saw on the other piece here. Um, I guess that's cool. I mean, if that's, you know, your, your kind of thing, you like these sort of uh, replica weapons, which, you know, I do. I think they're pretty cool. But, I mean, in, in this case, this is just a very cheaply made uh, grapnel gun that you have to spend $160 to get. Uh, not really feeling that a whole lot. I mean, maybe if it were just like six figures you had to buy or even just four figures, that'd be a little more acceptable. But you got to get eight figures in order to buy this and you got to buy two more in order to get these other pieces. Uh, I don't really think that, that it's worth it. I honestly don't. Uh, if you have to have it, again, you can do without buying the figures. Just go on eBay, buy one by itself. But even then, uh, it's just one of those things. If there were like a replica company that's gonna come out and release something like this, maybe like DC Collectibles, then I think that would be the way to go. But right now there's no indication that that's going to happen. So if you really like Batman v Superman and uh, you wanna get a replica of his grapnel blaster, this is probably gonna be your best bet. Again, I really don't like how it's permanently connected to that base. It does make for a cool display sort of aesthetic, especially when you have the little clear bar right there. But, uh, I mean, it'd be just so much more fun if you could just pull it off the base and, you know, go BAM, but you can't. So, I mean, all in all, it's an okay toy. I don't think it's worth the price of admission. If the figures in the DC Multiverse 6-inch line were better quality than they are, then I would probably like it a little bit more. But the fact that you have to pay so much money to get such subpar figures in the year 2016 really strikes me as an unsavory thing. And I really can't recommend that you spend all the money that you'll need to in order to acquire this, unless you're just gonna go and buy the gun by itself. But even then, uh, I like the idea behind this, but that you really shouldn't have to pay this much money in order to get this. It's really not worth it. And that being said, this concludes our look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse 6-inch line for Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. There's no indication that they're going to continue this line. Of course, the 6-inch DC Comics Multiverse line will continue, and we will be getting Suicide Squad figures in the coming months. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. If you enjoyed this review, then I do encourage you to please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the grapnel gun, whether or not you would go through the trouble of adding this to your collection. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest news and updates. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.